Science Center is located in Columbus, Minnesota. We have the largest captive wolf population anywhere in North America, and we're also one of only three facilities in North America to have both Mexican gray wolves and red wolves, which are both highly endangered. Um, we do public tours on Saturdays at 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock year round, so you can come on out and come see our animals. We had wolf pups born this year for a couple of different research pro projects. We work with the Mexican Gray Wolf Recovery Program, um, and they were doing some contraceptive research. And so we had some pups as a result of that. And then we're working with Dr. Brian Hare um, from Duke University, who's doing some dog cognition studies. And he wanted to do some cognition stuff with our wolf puppies. So we hand raised some wolf puppies for him to come out and basically play games with them to find out what they can understand and where they track um, with dogs. This is a car that is part of the Toward Zero Death in Anoka County. Uh, it's um, all the members of uh, the sheriff's or the, it's the sheriff's office and all the other city police departments within the county are part of the Toward Zero Death program. Uh, this the car is part of the education side or education piece of the Toward Zero Death uh, part. There's enforcement uh, and there's also the education. The car has been put together to bring to events like this. Um, city parades, city festivals, also uh, bring it out on weekend events where uh, their drinking is part of the, uh, the event, maybe Halloween in Anoka or New Year's Eve around the county. Uh, it's just part of the Toward Zero Death program to um, educate good decision making, think about the uh, consequences of, of not calling a cab or getting behind the wheel. My name is Deputy Brian Collier with the Noak County Sheriff's Office and today I'm doing an explosive canine demonstration for the people here today showing how my dog, my canine partner Mesa, finds explosives. Uh, we train on all the military grade, commercial grade explosives along with all the different substances that you can use to mix with something to make an explosive and all the gunpowders out there. We're, we're used to uh, locate evidence and we're also used to clear buildings in a bomb threat or if there's intel uh, that there's something out there. Along with VIP searches, uh, if president or the governor or someone important comes into town, we'll clear cars coming into the venue, we'll clear the building before they arrive, stuff like that. Uh, Youth Service Bureau has been around since 1976. Um, we started off as a diversion agency for young people that were in a little bit of trouble trying to keep them out of the court system. And we still have that today, um, but we've evolved to have a lot of different services for youth and families. Uh, therapy, counseling, parent support, um, enrichment and, and youth leadership development. And so there's a lot of different things that happen at the Youth Service Bureau. It's not just a place for bad kids or kids that have made a bad decision. Um, it's a place for people to come and get support in a lot of different ways. Nineteen forty Chevrolet, only racing. I don't drive it on the street. It's a race car. Uh, it runs uh, thirteen oh four at ninety nine miles an hour. I rebuilt it from a abandoned car. My car is second from the end down there. It's the Rat Rod with a good coating of rust. Never have to wash it. I don't even wipe it off. But it's got a two fifty Chev six inliner. Actually the whole car is from the junkyard in pieces all put together. It's very low, rough riding, noisy. We are at the 2014 Columbus Fall Festival with uh, a normal uh, routine as well as some new events. Some people like the uh, rummage sale and some people like the car auction or the car uh, show. But uh, everyone has their, their particular favorite. Well, our parks are, are phenomenal, and uh, we just have great people here. So we like to associate with uh, 
great people, so it's awesome. a great place to come. Now, electricity, as you're going to see, is a very, very good thing. But it's also a very, very dangerous thing. And there's a few reasons why it's so dangerous. Number one is the speed that it travels. Speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. Not per hour like a police car or a fire engine. This is per second. So that means in one second, a volt of electric current, whether high voltage or low voltage, they travel exactly the same speed in circle the earth almost five times. So there's nobody here in Columbus that's quick enough or fast enough to get out of the way of electric shock. In real life out here, these high voltage power lines out on the street, they're on all the time. 7,200 volts. Uh, the volts are exactly the same. 7,200 here is what we generate. 7,200 out on the street. That arc there is 7,200 volts. The heat that's generated is over 7,000 degrees. What, what you're seeing is that, that arc burn the oxygen around it. That'll ruin your day. Let's see what happened to Tim's finger here. He's got a nice little hole. And if that's all that happened to Tim, he did have a lucky day. <laughs>